welcome to fourth lectures on terpenes and terpenoids in first lecture we have seen the basic terminologies involved in terpenoid chemistry we have also seen the classification as well as the applications of isoprene rule applied to the various structures of terpenoids in lecture number 2 and lecture number 3 we have determined the structures of citral as well as geraniol on the basis of chemical methods of analysis along with the structure elucidations in this lecture we are going to discuss about the chemistry of menthol molecule we'll discuss about its occurrence as well as uses structure details of menthol will be discussed in more detail on the basis of chemical methods of analysis synthesis as well as useful reactions of menthol will be discussed menthol is having a very rich stereochemical aspect so we will discuss about the stereochemistry of menthol and at the end we will discuss about the applications of menthol in kinetic resolutions of racemic mendelic acid so first of all let us see from where men menthol we get the major source of the menthol is a peppermint oil these are the leaves of peppermint and from this leaves we can isolate menthol in pure form menthol is a white solid crystalline compound with relatively lower melting point that is 43 degree centigrade menthol is having various applications particularly more applications we will find in the medicinal field it is used as local anesthetics it is widely used to relieve minor throat irritations similarly it is extensive similarly it is used in toothpaste cosmetics shaving gums as well as toiletries it is also used as chiral auxiliaries in asymmetric synthesis the structure determinations of menthol was initiated in the year 1886 in those days the chemists were not having sophisticated instruments and therefore they were relying on the chemical methods of analysis this chemical methods of analysis that is structured from menthol was initiated from the determinations of the molecular formula when carbon and hydrogens were estimated of menthol then they reached to the molecular formula of the menthol and it was found to be c10h20o molecular formula of the menthol is a very useful information about the structure of menthol this molecular formula contains 10 number of carbon atoms therefore it belongs to a class of monoterpenoids monoterpenoid class of terpenoids contains two isoprene units and according to the special isoprene rule these two isoprene units are joined through head to tail linkage so we get a broad idea just by counting the 10 number of carbon atoms uh, in the molecular formula of the menthol second information that we get from the molecular formula is the degree of unsaturation or the double bond equivalence how many double bonds or how many rings is present in menthol that is nothing but the degree of unsaturation or double bond equivalence for a molecular formula cxhyoz the double bond equivalence is calculated by x plus 1 minus y by 2 so if you keep these values here then the degree of unsaturation is found to be equals to 1 in menthol now menthol is having one degree of unsaturation it means that menthol may be a monocyclic molecule or it may contain one double bond so in a subsequent investigations we have to address this we have to find out this nature of unsaturations that's a degree of unsaturation or a double bond equivalent now preliminary experiments have shown that menthol is a saturated compound preliminary experiments means for example bromination reaction it does not add to the bromine so chemists believe that menthol is a saturated molecule so this degree of unsaturation one must be corresponds to perhaps monocyclic nature of the menthol and we should have some chemical evidences in support of this assumption now let us find out the nature of oxygen for this menthol was treated with acetic anhydride in presence of pyridine and it leads to form monoacetate derivative now the formations of monoacetate derivative it means that the menthol is an alcohol alcohols on acetylation gives a monoacetate derivative and therefore menthol is an alcohol so we get a conclusion about the nature of oxygen that menthol is an alcohol now alcohol is of three types primary alcohol secondary alcohol as well as tertiary alcohol now the question is what is this nature so for that the next experiment is performed here the oxidations of menthol was performed and the resulting product is c10h18o the analysis of this compound has shown that it is a ketone and it was called as a menthol since we get in oxidation ketone it means that our starting material that's a menthol which we have proved already as alcohol must be of secondary alcohol type of the compound so on the basis of oxidation experiment we have now concluded that menthol is a secondary alcohol in this way we have proved now the nature of unsaturation is equal to 1 we have proved these are the future structural features of the menthol degree of unsaturation is equal to 
and the nature of oxygen is a secondary alcohol. So the molecular formula of the menthol can be written as C10H19OH and the parent hydrocarbon of C10H19OH is C10H20 and this C10H20 corresponds to CnH2n. CnH2n means 1 degree of unsaturation again and as we have already said that the menthol molecule is a saturated compound, we assume now that menthol is monocyclic in nature. So in this way, we have got these three informations as far as this discussions about the menthol is concerned. Degree of unsaturation is equal to 1 and it corresponds to the monocyclic nature and here is a secondary alcohol nature of the menthol. Now, it's a monocyclic compound and what should be the nature of that cyclic, uh, cyclic compound that we have to that we have to provide some chemical evidences. So here there are two chemical evidences, menthol followed by dehydration because alcohols, on, alcohols undergo dehydration and dehydration this product was subjected to dehydrogenation with sulfur or selenium and leads to form the parasimine. So the formation of parasimine again in the, again gives us a clue about the cyclic about the cyclic structure of this menthol molecule. Another evidence is coming from the reductions of menthol. Menthol on reductions with HI forms the paramenthol. So formations of paramenthol and the parasimine suggest us to assume this skeleton. That's a paramenthol skeleton of menthol molecule. So we have come a very long way as far as the structures of the menthol. We have proved that it's a secondary alcohol and this is a skeleton present in it. So if we assume, if we attach this OH group in this skeleton, then we will get the structure of menthol. Now in this skeleton, it's a secondary alcohol. So in this skeleton, this is the, these are the only two positions which are secondary in nature. Rest of the carbon, this is a tertiary carbon. This is also a tertiary. This is also a tertiary. This is primary, this is primary, this is primary. So only these two positions are left. So OH is likely to attach here or it is likely to attach in structure number two. So the most probably, the, the most probable structures of menthol can be either one or two. So we have to now again do more analysis whether it is a structure number one or structure number two. For this, in 1886, and in 1894, oxidation experiments of menthol were performed and it is called as a oxidative degradations or it, you can, we can also say it's a, we can also say that the graded oxidations. In this oxidation, menthol was subjected to uh, oxidation using CrO3. We got a menthol, we have already seen these reactions. Now it's a cyclic ketone and this cyclic ketone, this cyclic ketone on KMnO4 oxidation leads to form keto acids and it is called as a keto menthylic acid. Analysis of keto menthylic acid has proved that it is a keto acid. And this keto acid on further KMnO4 oxidations form 3 methyl adipic acid. Here three number of carbon atoms are lost and it is in the form of acetone C10H18O3 and is a C7H12O4. So three number of carbon atoms are lost and therefore it gives a clue about the presence of isopropyl group here and the formations of the last product was found to be the 3 methyl adipic acid. So the formations of 3 methyl adipic acid gives us a clue to assume the structures of menthone here in this way. So this was the possibility here. Uh, this uh, 3 methyl adipic acid formation is possible only when we assume the uh, structures of menthone in this way. So here the bond cleavage is likely to occur and then we will get here C double bond O and then this will again undergo oxidations and we will get here carboxylic acid. Now this oxidation sequence on the basis of this uh, oxidative degradations varies to the structures of menthone and therefore varies to the structures of the menthol here. So out of these two structure one and two the correct structures of the menthol is two. Now once the structure of menthol is uh, proved, we have to convince ourselves by writing the reaction sequence, what may be the actual case happening in this oxidative degradations of menthol carried out in 1896. Menthol on oxidations gives menthone, this is very simple to understand. And now here the carbon-carbon bond cleavage occurs and we get a keto menthylic acid, it's a keto carboxylic acid. Keto carboxylic acid again undergoes subsequent degradations and here we get it we get a degradation product that's a three number of carbon atoms are lost from keto menthylic acid and it's in the form of acetone.
and the another product is a 3 methyl adipic acid so formations of 3 methyl adipic acid is possible only when only when we assume these structures of the menthol the another structure of the menthol that was a another probable possibility here we cannot get this dicarboxylic acid here the other carboxylic acid is obtained 1 2 3 4 and 5 number of carbon atoms are there whereas here the carboxylic acid contains a 6 number of carbon atoms in a uh, long chain here so on the basis of oxidative degradation experiment we have proved the structures of the menthol here when the investigations of the structure of menthol was going the chemists were having some literature report about the polyzone this is another monocyclic is a monoterpenoid mono this polyzone on reductions again gives a menthol and therefore uh, this was a strong evidence in structure of the, in support of the menthol the structure of polyzone in those days were again uh, again uh, proved on the basis of oxidative degradation experiment uh, one is a retrolol condensation and second is oxidation and again here 3 methyl adipic acid is formed and again this 3 methyl adipic acid was similarly formed in this another oxidative degradation experiments of the menthol so the polygen structure has given us uh, a confidence to reach to the structures of the menthol this is the positions of the OH group here so in this way we have uh, elucidate the structures of menthol on the basis of simple chemical methods of analysis the investigation starts with the investigation starts with the determinations of molecular formula of the menthol from molecular formula we have seen it is having one degree of unsaturation then the nature of oxygen was proved to be an alcohol by monoacetate formation reactions um, then its its nature secondary alcohol was found on the basis of CRO3 oxidations then uh, skeleton nature of the menthol was proved from two experiments as uh, HI reductions as well as dehydrogenations with um, dehydrogenations leading to form the parasamine and then uh, the nature of this OH where this OH group is present either here or here it was proved on the basis of oxidative degradation experiment where the final product is a 3 methyl adipic acid so formations of 3 methyl adipic acid is possible only when we assume the structures of menthol here in alternate way uh, we have seen in previous slide that this uh, 3 methyl adipic acid is not formed so in this way with the help of very simple chemicals chemists at that time we reach to the structures of the menthol molecule now after the structure determination now it's time to synthesize in the lab and synthesis of menthol again uses use the support to the structure of the menthol molecule now menthol can be prepared uh, this was the synthesis reported in 1907 starting from metacrisol metacrisol is treated with the isopropyl iodide it is offering seven number of carbon atoms and this isopropyl and we get a menthol here and uh, here attachment of this isopropyl group is not straightforward in those days because uh, there was no what we say the development of the Frieda Kraft reactions and therefore chemists relied again on the carbon and chemistry metacrisol on reduction uh, now this synthesis can be learned uh, can be made interesting by transforming in problem that uh, whatever the reagents are involved here H2NI reduction, oxidation, this uh, diethyl oxalate, then base catalyzed alkylations, then distillations with the copper salt and reductions. All these reagents are preliminary reagents and students generally know about it. And therefore, the synthesis of menthol can be learned in the form of this format also. So, metacrisol on reduction with H2 plus NI gives uh, 3 methyl cyclohexanol. 3 methyl cyclohexanol on oxidation gives 3 methyl cyclohexanol. And then here, uh, we have to introduce now isopropyl group and for that we are trying to introduce here some active methylene compounds just like a ethyl acetoacetate so for that diethyl oxalate reacts with sodium metal and we get here uh, one three dicarbonic type of the compound and when this is heated it eliminates the carbon monoxide so this is a cyclic beta keto ester and just like a ethyl acetoacetate it's a cyclic beta keto ester and here we can achieve the alkylations very easily its reactions with the sodium ethoxide followed by its alkylations with the diisopropyl iodide forms here alkylation products so in this way we reach to the, our main skeleton of the molecule and we do not need this and for that they have performed its reactions with the sodium ethoxide and it leads to the ring opening reactions here 
This dicarboxylic acid forms a calcium salt and if this calcium salt is distilled, it leads to form the menthone. And menthone on reductions gives us menthol here. So this is a very interesting uh, synthesis of menthol in, involving very simple starting material like metacrisol as well as isopropyl iodide. Now in this reduction of menthone to menthol, we get isomeric. There are three stereochemical centers. So menthol is not uh, enantiomerically or stereochemically prepared here. So another synthesis, the naturally occurring menthol uh, is having a levorotatory nature. So minus menthol is here. And this synthesis of minus menthol was accomplished in the year 1976. The route is very uh, interesting to discuss. The first step here is the is the product of alkylation reactions using aluminum alkoxide. It leads to form thymol. Thymol on reductions gives uh, this uh, menthol molecule. So this is a very shortcut method in fact. But here the biggest problem is that this uh, menthol contains three stereochemical centers and because of this three stereochemical center, it exists in various stereoisomeric form. Then on this uh, various di there are various uh, isomers of menthol and uh, they are having different boiling point. So they are diastereomers and this diastereomers on fractional distillations uh, leads to form here menthol molecule. And menthol is again a mixture of minus menthol and the plus menthol. So this menthol was isolated, was separated from uh, menthol, isomenthol, neomenthol, neoisomenthol. Now these two are separated by simple uh, reactions. It is uh, trans esterification is made and we get again these two. And these uh, two were separated by uh, adding a pure form of one of the isomers that is called as crystallization by seeding. And then here minus menthol, there's a levo menthol crystallizes out whereas the plus menthol is in the flask, is in a mother liquor. So in this way, the overall yield of the minus menthol was uh, achieved around 90%. So the, another first synthesis was reported in the 1907 and after almost 70 years, uh, this was a enantioselective selective synthesis. Uh, here the synthesis of one isomer of the menthol was discussed. Now let us see the preliminary reactions of menthol. It's a secondary alcohol on PCL5 methyl chloride. This on oxidation gives menthol. This on oxidation uh, gives a carbon-carbon bond cleavage. It proceeds to the intermediates of menthone. We get keto carboxylic acid. It is called as a keto methylic acid. Similarly, it undergo dehydration reactions and we get a 3 methane. This is a esterification reactions developed by Eli. And uh, this, uh, this esterification reactions of menthol results in the formations of ester. And menthol was found to react more faster than uh, isomenthol, neomenthol, as well as neoisomenthol. Diatomic compounds. M Mendelic acid uh, exists. Now let us discuss the stereochemistry of menthol. In the structure of menthol, there are three chiral centers. And because of these three chiral centers, it exists in 2 raised to power 3 or 8 number of stereoisomers. These st 8 stereoisomers are shown here. In other words, Menthol molecule exists in four pairs of enantiomers or we can say four racemic modifications and these four racemic modifications are of menthol, isomenthol, neomenthol as well as neoisomenthol. Menthol is having its two isomers similarly isomenthol, neomenthol and the neoisomenthol will have two enantiomers and we can uh, two stereoisomers and we call them as a enantiomers. Now this menthol uh, is a diastereomer of isomenthol, is a diastereomer of neomenthol and the new isomenthol. And similarly, the isomenthol will be the diastereomer of remaining uh, molecules that's a menthol, neomenthol as well as new isomenthol. So to understand the concept of enantiomers as well as a diastereomer, the examples of menthol can be demonstrated for discussion. The naturally occurring menthol is levy rotatory and its configuration is found to be 1R, 2S and 5R. Now this isomerism is possible because three substituents can exist with respect to each other either in a cis fashion or they can be trans with respect to each other and therefore there are eight total stereoisomers of menthol. Now since it's a six-membered ring, menthol is a six-membered ring, we can draw the chair conformations of this menthol, isomenthol, neomenthol and isomenthol. While drawing the chair conformations, 
this bulkier isopropyl group will prepare to occupy an equatorial position. This is the most bulkier substituent amongst methyl, hydroxyl and the isopropyl. Therefore, it will prepare to occupy an equatorial position which is just less sterically hindered. So, in all these cases, we have written the isopropyl group in the equatorial position and accordingly we have adjusted the positions of hydroxyl as well as OH. In menthol, all the substituents are equatorial whereas in the remaining at least one substituent in isomenthol and neomenthol there is only one excel substituent whereas in case of new isomenthol we are having two bulkier substituents which are excelled with respect to each other and because of one three dioxyl interactions the isomenthol neomenthol and the new isomenthol they will be unstable compared to the menthol on the right hand side of this equilibrium we have shown the isopropyl group in a excel positions and definitely this is the most unstable conformations of all these four molecules four isomers and therefore this molecules menthol isomenthol neomenthol and new isomenthol will prepare to occupy will prepare these conformations where the isopropyl group has occupied an equatorial positions now as per the stability is concerned the menthol is the most stable because it has occupied there is absence of one three dioxyl interactions however one gaussian interaction is here New isomenthol is the least stable because there is a 1,3 dioxyl interactions between two bulkier substituents OH as well as methyl and therefore these are least stable. Now among these two there is one XL CS3 as well as OH but this uh, isomenthol is unstable compared to the new menthol because there is a Gaussian interactions and because of this Gaussian interactions as well as 1,3 dioxyl interactions it is at the third position as per the stability of the order is concerned the new menthol is having only one one three dioxyl interactions so stability order depends upon the one three dioxyl interactions as well as here isopropyl group has occupied the equatorial positions menthol is the most stable where all the positions have equatorial now this conformations of the isomenthol uh, here is again summary we have written the methyl group uh, is a uh, equatorial here now in this most stable conformation the OH group has uh, occupied here equatorial it is here is also equatorial but in this new menthol as well as a new isomenthol it has occupied axial position hydroxyl group has occupied the axial positions so if if you perform some reactions of the hydroxyl group then there will be definitely some reactivity difference so the so the conformations of uh, this stereo various stereoisomers of menthol has again got some additional evidence uh, from the work of Elyl. Elyl performs a simple esterification reactions of all four stereoisomers of menthol and he found that the menthol is the most reactive of all and new menthol is the least stable. Now esterification of hydroxyl group uh, here is taking place. The equatorial group if it is at the equatorial position then the esterification will be more prepared. Prepared rate of reactions will be there compared to its axial position because in equatorial there is a less steric congestion. Now if you look at the menthol it is in equatorial positions and all the substituents are also equatorial and that is why the menthol reacts fastest. Whereas for new menthol, for new menthol this is not a stable structure we have written a equatorial portion of OH. In previous slide we have written two conformations of the new menthol where the isopropyl group has occupied but here now here now we have written equatorial portions of the OH and as a result of that it becomes axial here and since this is an unstable structure uh, because of strong 1,3 dioxyl interactions its concentration will be effective concentration. This new isomenthol will not prepare to stay in this conformation and therefore uh, therefore the rate of esterification will be the least. Sorry it, it will be the least in case of new menthol. If there are two 1,3 dioxyl interactions here there is only one 1,3 dioxyl interactions and here again there is a 1,3 dioxyl interactions. So among all these four conformations the esterifications of equatorial OH is occurring but apart from that the other factors 1,3 dioxyl are also taken into consideration and therefore the menthol is reacting most faster than that of the uh, isomenthol. Isomenthol reacts faster than the new isomenthol and the new menthol reacts least. Now let us consider the elimination reactions of the menthol. Uh, we have written the two structures of menthyl chloride and new menthyl chloride. It is observed that menthyl chloride reacts faster compared to the uh, sorry menthyl chloride reacts slowly compared to the new menthyl chloride. Uh, 
Methyl chloride exists in this conformation where all the positions are equatorial. But for the elimination reactions, the antiperipenal arrangement of the chlorine as well as hydrogen is required. It is lagging here and therefore it will try to adopt this conformation where the hydrogen and Cl they are anti to each other. But this isopropyl group and the methyl they are uh, at the axial positions and they undergo 1,3 dioxyl interactions and as a result of that this is a very least stable. It will not, this more stable conformation will not undergo uh, this conformations very fast and since it is slow the overall rate of the elimination is also slow. Whereas in neomethyl chloride, we are having Cl in axial positions. There is a 1,3 dioxyl interactions and there are two trans hydrogen with respect to chlorine and bulkier isopropyl group as well as the methyl group. They are occupying the equatorial positions and we get two elimination product. This is a set zip product. This is a more substrate product. This is forming more quantity compared to the less substrate as a set zip product. So this chlorine is having two hydrogens here, which is trans to each other. This chlorine is having Chlorine is having only this hydrogen, but this hydrogen, but for that it has to adopt a this conformation which is unstable and as a result of that the methyl chloride will react slower than that of the new methyl chloride is having one. Now let us consider the applications of Liho menthol in the kinetic resolutions of racemic mendelic acid. Mendelic acid is having one chiral center, so it exists as enantiomers. It exists as a racemic mixture here. The racemic mixtures of Mendelic acid can be separated into two individual isomers, as a plus isomer and the minus isomer, by reactions with levomenthol. So when levomenthol, when the chiral reagent is treated with the racemic mixtures of the Mendelic acid, then uh, then these two isomers of Mendelic acid shows a different behavior. The one isomers of the Mendelic acid plus form of the Mendelic acid reacts with the menthol at a faster rate to form this ester whereas the minus form of the menthol as a Leo form of the menthol remains unreacted. So as a result of that the plus menthol is converted into a di into a ester which on hydrolysis we get plus Mendelic acid and unreacted Mendelic acid whatever is left is a minus Mendelic acid. So in this way we can achieve here uh, the separations of plus Mendelic acid as well as minus Mendelic acid using the menthol chemistry here. Menthol is a chiral region and it re reacts in a very differentiating way with the two isomers of Mendelic acid and therefore because of the rate difference between these two isomers we get the separations of plus Mendelic acid as well as minus Mendelic acid using menthol. We are right from the beginning let us see the first of all revision and then we will conclude about it. So we started for the structure determinations with the help of very preliminary experiments and we reached to the structures of the menthol. Here the formations of 3 methyl adipic acid is a turning point of investigations as well as the clue from pulligen chemistry is also giving us the structure of menthol molecule. Then another one is about the synthesis of menthol. Here it can be accomplished through metacrisol as well as the isopropyl iodide here. Just to introduce this here, we have done some carb carbon and chemistry here. And then at the end we get a menthone and its reductions gives a menthol. And this reduction gives a lot of stereoisomers of the menthol. Therefore the synthesis of minus menthol was, levomenthol was accomplished in year 1976 from metacrisol. So this is it exists in a uh, various isomers. This on fractional distillations gives racemic mixture and these two were separated by crystallizations by seeding. Then uh, this is a very interesting part. Menthol shows isomerisms and isopropyl group prefers to occupy equatorial positions and it is having an influence on the influence on the esterification reactions. Esterifications of equatorial OH is faster and in that case it, it is amply available here. This is also available. But remaining these two three, even though it is available, the stability of these two conformation is very less because the isopropyl group is at the axial positions. These are elimination reactions and the kinetic resolutions. Now once this uh, menthol chemistry is learned, we have to uh, check how much we have progressed and for that it is necessary you should solve the problems. Now what is the quality of the problem or what, what may be the type of the problems uh, we have to undertake is uh, here about the stereochemistry of menthol, how many chiral centers are there. Uh, you must write the various stereoisomers of menthol and relationship of each isomer with the another isomers. Then the reactivity order, conformational analysis of all these isomers, isomers of stereoisomers of menthol we have to discuss and 
This has indirect effect on the esterification reactions using dinitrobenzoyl chloride. The third problem is related to the uh, 3-methyl adipic acid formation oxidative degradation experiments and here the products of the intermediates are shown and therefore this is a very interesting exercise to solve. The mechanism of elimination reactions students should learn here is anti-periplinar eliminations and here chlorine occupy, uh, occupying this XL position gives isopropyl in a uh, isopropyl group in a XL position and that's why the rate of the reaction is very less. Whereas here neomethyl chloride, there are two hydrogens anti to the chlorine. Here is one hydrogen and here is another hydrogen and we get the two products. And this is the last one is all about the synthesis of the menthol. So in this way, we have learned the chemistry of menthol. Now, in the next lecture, we will talk about the chemistry of alpha terpenol. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching the video.